Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is Faiz and welcome back to my new video. In this video, I am going to be talking about ways to tuck your shirt. Yes, there's more than one way to actually tuck your shirt, guys. I know it looks like a lot of work, but just a little change in the way you tuck your shirts can make a lot of difference. It can make you stand out. It can make you look different. Um, it can make you look edgy. It can make you look uh, very out there. So guys, I'm going to be talking about all the ways to tuck in your shirt. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started on the video, make sure to check out my channel. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and travel. On top of that, guys, make sure to check out my Instagram as well. You will be seeing a lot of my fashion posts um, as well as how I tuck my shirt in. You guys are able to see a lot of my examples on my Instagram as well. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's talk about the very first type of tucking. That goes for any type of oversized sweaters, oversized tops, oversized uh, button-down shirts. And what you're doing with that is doing a full tuck in. You want to do that especially if you're petite or even if you're not petite, if you're wearing something that's over your size, tucking is the way to go. It'll look, make you look more and it'll make you look like, um, it'll make you look very, very presentable. I think that's the right word for it. You can do that at work. You can do that in meetings. If you have any type of formal events, you can do that over there as well. And that's literally the way to go about it, guys. And guys, uh, tucking uh, the shirt is pretty easy. The way you want to start is start by tucking the shirt from the front. And then you want to work uh, your way towards the back. And when you're tucking this shirt, you want to tuck it as deep as you can. So it looks neat uh, because that's what we're trying to achieve. And let's say you're wearing trousers, you're wearing pants. Make sure you pull it out a little like you're undoing the tuck. It brings out a little bit more of the shirt and makes you look very natural and tidy. So guys, let's talk about the next type of tuck-in. It's um, or tuck. It will be the front tuck. And you want to do that if you think you're there to challenge the authority. I'm just joking, don't do that. So guys, that would be the front tuck and you wanna do that to make yourself more edgy and think that's the look we're going for. And the doing is, it's pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just try tuck the front part in and you're gonna leave the rest of it um, out. And uh, that's basically it, you're not doing anything more than that. And guys, um, if you are doing it with tights, you wanna make sure you tuck it in uh, fully for the, I'm talking about the, just the front part, tuck it in fully so it doesn't come out. Let's move on to the next type of tuck. It is the side or the one-sided tuck where you're just tucking the side of the shirt and that's literally it. And you're doing that to make yourself a little comfortable but you want to look chic as well. I usually do a one-side tuck with a button-down shirt and because it's easier for me to do. And I like doing it because it makes me look effortlessly chic and it uh, makes me look like I'm very out there. And this is what I'm trying to achieve. The way you guys have to do the half side or the one side tuck is start by taking a shirt and if you're doing a button on top, you're gonna start by unbuttoning the last uh, button. If you leave that button uh, together, uh, it will show from the front, so you don't wanna do that. Start by tucking one of the one side of the shirt in, whichever side you prefer. You're gonna bring the other side of the shirt uh, to your waistband and tuck it in loosely. And the next type of tuck is a navel tuck, which is very similar to the previous tuck, which is a one side tuck. So this one's pretty easy. So you're just taking the center part of your top and you're just tucking uh, that a little. And that's literally it. You're gonna leave everything else out. And that's literally it for the navel tuck. This is pretty easy. And if you haven't noticed so far, all of these tucks are less than a minute and they shouldn't, ta they shouldn't even take you more than 30 seconds if you're uh, good at it or if you do it on an irregular basis. Guys, so moving on to the very next type of tuck, it is the low tuck. So guys, we're going to move on to the fifth type of tuck. The idea for this look is to look very casual and very relaxed. And you can only achieve this with uh, low rise jeans. It won't look good with high rise jeans. So guys, you're going to start by tucking the shirt in from the front. Tuck it all around. Again, you're wearing low rise denim or low rise trousers. And then you're going to pull out a little from all the sides except the navel portion to make it look a bit undone and bulgy. So guys, this is it for the video. So just to summarize, there are five type of tucks out there. The first one is full tuck, there's front tuck, there's side tuck, there's navel tuck, and there's low tuck. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out my Instagram and make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like the video. And guys, this is it for the video. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.